Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone or iPod or iPad, whatever it may be that you have. Uh, there's a lot of times where uh, you may delete something that you did not want to or you look at your iPhone and you may have lost your contacts or applications or uh, you may just have wanted to restore to a previous version of, of the operating system. Uh, well, you can do that all through backing up your iPhone or iPod. Uh, the first things first is you want to plug in your device uh, with the USB cable provided uh, by Apple, so I have done that now. Uh, it should automatically open iTunes. If it does not, you can open it manually. Uh, and then once you do that, you will see over here in the left-hand column under Devices, uh, as you see here, you can see my iPod Touch connected. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hover over the device, and you want to right-click on a, on a Windows or Control-click for a Mac, and go over. Uh, once you do that, you will see this option down here at the bottom where it says Backup. So you'll want to click that. And then once you click that, you'll see the little swirly arrows here going in a circle. And up here, you will see um, syncing iPod Touch backing up. And what this will do is it will save this state of your device in on your computer's hard drive within iTunes. So next time you come back, if you want to restore it to this state, or if you've lost everything, you need to come back, all you'll have to do is right-click on it. And uh, once you do that, there'll be a restore from backup available down here at the bottom and I will show you that in just a second uh, I see now it's copying a few of the apps that I have downloaded on the iPod here but all you will need to do to restore from a backup will be just control click or right click on a Windows just like you did there and right here below backup you will see restore from backup click on that and then a list of backups will come available to you and it will show you the date that the backup was made and you just select the one you want and with that it will sync with that backup and then after that you are good to go so that is how you backup and sync your iPhone iPod or iPad it works with with any of them and uh, if you have any questions put them in the comment box below don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I will see you next time